Blessings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I'm here with an amazing word for you, my dear brothers and sisters. Remember that these are the words that are going to jumpstart your day. These are words that are going to really uplift you in whatever you are going through. Brothers and sisters, it is important that you subscribe, turn on all the notifications, and leave a comment in the comment section. By you doing so, you are able to see these powerful videos. Remember that every day I am here live to pray for you. I am here to speak words of encouragement with you. Brothers and sisters, today's amazing and powerful word is be of the same mind towards other. Be of the same mind towards one another. Brothers and sisters, love is a key principle. Even when somebody hates you, even when somebody says words that are hurtful to you, don't repay them with hatred. Remember, hatred can never drive away hatred. It is love that can drive away hatred. Brothers and sisters, the war that you are going through is spiritual. And you need to approach it in a spiritual way. The person that is fighting against you, that you think is fighting against you, there is a spirit behind that person that is compelling him or her to fight against you. So do not just attack the person, attack the spirit spiritually. The Bible says that for we do not wage war against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness. So it is important to know who you are fighting against. The reason as to why a lot of people are, are defeated is because they fight the wrong person. Brothers and sisters, today's word and scripture is from the book of Romans chapter 12. Verse 14 to 17. Romans chapter 12, verse 14, actually to 19. The Bible says, The Bible says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. And weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind to one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no evil for evil. Have regard for the good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men beloved do not avenge yourselves but rather give place to wrath for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord what a powerful word the bible starts by saying that bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse your mouth should not have a place for curses because you are blessed. Your, what should proceed out of your mouth should be blessings. Remember, you have the ability to bless and you have the ability to curse. God has given you that choice. But what do you do? Do you bless someone or do you curse someone? Choose to bless. Even when they do evil to you, the Bible says, bless those who persecute you. They could be at your workplace. They could be in your neighborhood. It could be your boss. It may be hard to implement what I'm saying, to, what I'm trying to say. It may be hard to do what I'm trying to say. Some of you will be listening to this message and saying, but they have been persecuting me for a long time. They deserve a, what they, they deserve justice. God will revenge for you. God, the Bible says God will avenge for you. Justice, God will give it to you. For you, your work is to do, to bless them, and to pray for them. And if they are stubborn in their sin, God will handle them. The Bible says, 
Rejoice with those who rejoice. When you find somebody rejoicing, somebody who has received good news, congratulations, congratulate them. Somebody who's about to get married, somebody who has received their miracle, rejoice with them. If they are weeping, weep with them. Stand with them. Let them know that somebody loves and cares about them. Now the Bible says it clear. Be of the same mind toward one another. Don't show what is it called partiality? Bias. If you give someone this portion, give the other the same portion. Be of the same mind. If you love someone this way, love someone the other way. I'm talking about the love of God. Be of the same mind. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. And do not be wise in your own opinion. Associate yourself with the humble. Never associate yourself with people who are proud because they will pull you down. Never. The Bible says, can two work together unless they agree? Associate. Always when you find somebody who is humble, humble in his or her ways, associate yourself with them. Do not be wise in your own opinion. You may have opinions about something, but don't be wise in them. Apply the wisdom of God. Let God direct you. If you don't know something, don't try to complain and complain and complain. Let somebody teach you. And that's how you're going to learn. The Bible says, repent no evil for evil. Somebody did you evil? Let it go. Don't allow unforgiveness to settle down in your heart. Never, never allow unforgiveness to be part of you. Remember, if you do not forgive someone, even God cannot forgive you. That's why you see in the Lord's Prayer, it says, Forgive us our sins or our trespasses as we forgive those who have sinned against us. You have to forgive somebody. The Bible says, Live peaceably with all men. Live peaceably. Brothers and sisters, let peace be in you. Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Peace. Don't be someone who always causes chaos. Somebody who always causes arguments. No. Don't be the reason as to why people are arguing. Never. Never be participant of that. When people are arguing, be there as a peacemaker. Let it be known in the whole entire community, in the whole entire state, that you are a peacemaker. You are a woman or man who brings forth peace. When people come to you, let them come to settle their problems. Let them come for you to counsel them. Be a peacemaker. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this amazing message has uh, actually encouraged you. Remember, keep sharing these powerful words. I am always here to pray for you and I'm always here to speak words of breakthrough to you. Your breakthrough could be close. Until next time, God bless you.